All right, so today we are actually outside of the room for once, which is cool. That never happens, so this is a special occasion. We're actually heading to Truist right now, Truist Hawaii. That's our local sneaker shop on Oahu, probably. Actually, it's not probably. It's the best sneaker shop on Oahu. So I'm going to go check out their collection of sneakers over there. Take a look at like their most expensive stuff because I've seen on their Instagram that they've been getting in some crazy heat, like stuff you guys have never seen before. So stay tuned. That's going to be like insane. Yeah, Sean? Heck yeah. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Shoots. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. So this one is a super rare pair and honestly one of the most expensive Jordan ones like out there right now, dude. Cause I believe that they closed the Colette store I think in Paris or something. It was like a going out sale or something and they had like this as like their last run. Is that yeah, the? they made that for a tribute. A tribute, right? Yeah. Year in business, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, right on. So they only made like I think a couple hundred pairs, so they're super hard to find. Friendly and family. Yeah, exactly, and they only dropped in Europe. So it's like you can't get them anywhere, but apparently one of them ended up in Hawaii, and this is super sick. Really like this one. How much is this going for? You guys want to guess? <laughs> it's going for $7,000 right now. That's insane. But for a sample, it makes sense, right? By the way, guys, this is John, shop owner. Super chill guy. He actually owns Truist. Really chill and he helps me out like learning about all his sneakers and stuff. So I needed his expertise for this. Dude, there's stuff that I've never seen in here that's why before. Like these, I'm sure people don't even know what these are. Do you guys know what this is? Probably not, right? This is a fragment logo you guys can see back there. And this is actually how the shoe looks. It's like a mismatch kind of look, but it's got the fragment logo on the back and it's not a Jordan one fragment. So, oh shoot, and there's the other ones. This is Beijing. So it's like this one comes with just standard and like purple. Oh, but the toe boxes are different. Oh, totally different. Yeah. The swooshes too. Oh yeah, everything is reversed. Oh, okay, I see. That's fire. See, again, I didn't know about this, but when was this one dropped? It's an older uh, model for same sure. Same time, 2010. 2010? Yeah. Okay, so that's 10 years older. <laughs> Dude, a decade, that's crazy. But yeah, everybody knows the Jordan 1 fragment as like a top of the line shoe. Would you say that these are more rare? It's pretty rare. Yeah, a little bit more rare. It's a little bit more rare. Because these ones are from which drop? The multicolored one? Kind of like a city pack. Is city it? pack? Yeah, this is the NYC. NYC. This is the Beijing. And they also... And they were missing the London pair. The London... So there was three of them. There's three. There's oh, okay. Six. Dude, yeah. See, I've never even... I didn't know these existed. <laughs> Saw it on the Instagram. I was like, I gotta go check those out because I didn't think these were real, to be honest, man. <laughs> but they look super sick. How much are these going for right now? And we have them at 22. 22 oh, that's not too bad at all. Yeah, used and with a replacement box. Oh, okay. So what do you think the dead stock price of this would be? I think like five grand, four or five grand. Five grand? For both of, is this the same price too or is this more, more uh, rare? Probably same. Yeah. Same? Okay, that's crazy, that's crazy. So again, another expensive sneaker and that's actually not even the most expensive stuff in this shop. He has even more heat, like a lot more heat. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so actually something I'm familiar with, man. The what the dunk, you guys know what this one is? Definitely a banger and I think it got a lot more traction and a lot more like resale because Travis Scott wore them recently. Now everybody's on the dunk like height train so a lot of people want these now oh my gosh and we gotta talk about those too <laughs> but yeah i think nowadays these are going for dead stock like some pairs and some sizes are going for like nine thousand ten thousand dollars it's really expensive so definitely like one of the most expensive shoes you'll ever see anywhere and true has got one of the cleanest pairs i've ever seen too this is fire this is really nice i gotta get a pair for myself dude too bad this is too small <laughs> i would have copped it this one if anybody like has any doubts about not having heat in Hawaii, this is insane. This is the Air Mags. Came from, what was it, John? 2011? That was the 2011. 2011. Yes, 2011 release. They had a different release, I think, like more recently, like maybe two, three years ago. 2016. But these are the OG ones, right? 2016 ones. Dang, and those lights still work. That's super sick. Air Mags, all, everybody knows these shoes. I mean, they're legendary. Obviously worn in Back to the Future, and that's probably what made it like so popular. And not to mention the fact that they're just really rare in itself. Yeah. Do you know how much pairs of these were made actually? Only a couple but, hundred, right? But it was auctioned on eBay. Oh, that was why it was even more rare, right? Because yeah. all of it was going, I think, to, to Michael J. Fox. His foundation. The Parkinson disease. That's what it was, yeah. So even more so. Okay, so there's a nice like story behind that too. Probably for now, one of the greatest shoes ever made in terms of like uniqueness and obviously in price. What is this one going for now, John? What are we looking at? I believe 12 grand because it was used. Oh my God. <laughs> because it was used? <laughs> so what would it be dead stock then? 
15? 15. It's like, it gets to a point, man, where it's honestly like you can really just make any number for these things because they're just so rare. Like people will buy it. Exactly, exactly. It's it, the, whoever will buy it. And there's people that will buy it if it's like a dead stock pair, especially because let's face it, there's probably not too many dead stocks on the market anymore, right? Yeah, Bryson won't buy this. I won't. I will. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think I got, I don't got 12 grand to drop, but if I did, man, I'd be on it. It's definitely sick. I don't know if these would fit in my shoe boxes at home, though. <laughs> hold it from the bottom. Hold it from the bottom. Yeah. Careful, careful. Why? What are we holding right here? Uh, it's a sample Tokyo 5. Sample Tokyo 5. Yeah. These ones I think are called the yellow toes, right? The yellow toes. The yeah. nickname? So it's a sample, yep. Yeah, because so, the only difference is what? That they have this right here at the front? Yeah, there's a little cap toe right here. And I would think the upper is a little bit more rich. Like the color and stuff is darker. Yeah, I think so darker. as well. There definitely seems to be something different about it. Like it has like a more standout co color for sure. Yeah. But oh, you got the other pair over here too. It's a little different. Okay, right on. So this is what the difference is, man. Sample pair and then the regular Tokyos, which are still beautiful. This one, though, you can tell for sure that yellow is popping a lot more in the camera, right? That's crazy. Dude, so how much is this going for then? Uh, it's pretty rare. <laughs> the tag is right over here. The I, tag? I forgot. Oh, man. I, I'm scared to look at this. What does it say? Oh, man. Is it 20? <laughs> is it 20 or 8? Is it 20 grand? You guys want to peep that? 20 grand, dude. 20 grand. Is it really that rare? How many of these are made? I don't even know, man. It, I don't even know. It's really rare. Do you think this is the most expensive shoe in your shop? Oh, interesting. Maybe. It might have to be, I think. Unless something can beat 20K. This might be the most expensive shoe in Hawaii, guys. Like, legit. 20 grand. <laughs> I don't want to touch it anymore. I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's scared, dude. <laughs> Everybody. I want you to touch the bottom. Yeah, got a germ axe your hands. Yeah. yeah, don't touch the suede, man. That oil on there. Okay, so you think that one might be the most expensive in here then? You got a lot of heat though, that's the problem. There's too much heat. It's hard to keep track of everything. This is the one, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, the Orchard Street Dunk. Orchard yeah. Street Dunk. Okay, so you gotta educate me, man. This is an older shoe. I got into sneakers like recently. What are we looking at here? Oh, so everything's like, the tongue is inside out. Yeah, and I believe they might have hung it somewhere in New York on Orchard Street. In the trees? Not in the trees, but I, I heard a rumor on, like, on the telephone wires and stuff like that. I don't know. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, that yeah. would be cool. See, like oh, oh, three. Oh, three. Oh, three. Oh, yeah. three. Oh, man. And this is an expensive shoe then. See, this is how you know I might be a hype beast because I don't know what this is. But apparently, John says, the people in the know know this is an expensive shoe. Pretty expensive. And in terms of pretty expensive, we're looking at... What does it say? For a pre-owned shoe, which it looks kind of somewhat owned. Uh, fifty-five hundred dollars, <laughs> dude. People be thinking that these off whites and stuff are expensive. This kind of stuff is expensive. Old heat, I feel like, is insane, right, John? How do you feel about the old versus new like hype right now, where the prices are just really exploding? Whereas it took this one probably like, what is it, eighteen years now to get to that price? And the off white Jordan one Chicago's, those are going for that same, almost in that same area. It's a really interesting thing though, because I mean, you've been in shoes for a really long time, that's why. And it, there hasn't really been like a jolt, I feel like, in prices like this, like that high of a spike. It nah. could be just inflation or something, maybe. From what I see, like, I think if the prices go high, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people tend to find the other stuff that are not that expensive. Oh, and that's how stuff like this come up and other rare dunks that you don't see. Oh, and that, that's you thinking that's probably why the dunks just started coming back all of a sudden. Everyone started to buy other Supreme dunks. dunks. Yeah. Other kind of dunk that's not that popular, you know? Really? Yeah, because I feel like all the dunks are super expensive now. Yeah, because a lot of people are now looking for dunks. Not the name, not the popular stuff now. Really? They're just looking for basic dunks. That's interesting. Basic okay. Air Force One, so. Wow, okay. So, I mean, yeah, I, I know that like fashion and stuff is cyclical too. So, I mean, eventually everybody was gonna like that style again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, even for like boost and stuff, I feel like maybe down the road people will get into boost again, depending on how long it like can hold its shape and stuff. So, yeah, we'll yeah, see. Yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Jordan 1s, they're timeless, man. Came out in 85 and they're still going hard. So, that's super sick. But I think that's enough heat for now. We've got a lot of heat on camera. That's all I think already. I know you got a lot more in the back, but. I think we'll call it a wrap for today. Seen over like what, 100 grand worth of shoes already? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of heat, guys. And honestly, Truist is like one of the best shops in Hawaii. So if you guys ever come to Oahu, check out Truist Hawaii, man. On one of the main streets, is very close to Waikiki. Has a lot of stuff. We showed you guys all the B-roll and stuff. So they got like the dunks that 
a lot of people don't have anymore. They got like old school Kobe's, Jordans one through all of the Jordans. Hoy's got heat, don't sleep on Hoy. Don't sleep on Truist. <laughs> don't sleep on John, man. It's crazy out here. So thank you so much, John. Thank you for having us over, man. Really appreciate looking at all of your heat. Most expensive sneaker collection, technically in Hawaii. It's I crazy. Show you more. Hopefully we can come back. If you're allowed, that'd be cool. Oh, I got heat. Oh, I got heat. All right. Okay, so thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. Like this video. And until next time, guys, stay humble, stay blessed, take care. We'll see you on the next episode. Aloha. Shoots. 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 <laughs>